good Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in Hi, my name is Jack Hodgins. Welcome back to my channel. I uh, just wanted to, to update, uh, well basically it's a common question that keeps popping up on um, my channel quite a bit and it's about the wireless devices and people are now saying that how can I actually have all my devices running the same SSID or profile so I don't have to add in all these different names around the house onto my devices because when I connect between them they seem to sort of have a pause between connecting connection drops and they have to wait while it reconnects so the best way of doing this is in, again I can't show it for every single device because every different wireless device has a different type of menu or different way of accessing the menu for itself so make sure you're fully aware of your um, wireless device, how you can connect to it using the either it's a web browser or whether there's an app for it. So download all that. All your password and setting details will be actually in the box uh, or in instructions or some cases actually printed on the bottom of the router or the wireless device itself, how to access it. So once you gain access to it, I mean, I'll just show you some examples here. This is the RTN66. Uh, it's, a, it's a broadband modem router, but I've got this acting as a bit like a, um, a network hub at the moment. But I do have the wireless activated on it. As you can see, it's got a, a wireless name of uh, VW Cloud 5. Now, on my um, Apple device I've got here, which is the uh, Air Express, that's on a different, um, this is on my, uh, this is called Mac something. So it's going to have got a different SSID. So, so far I've got, I've got two profiles added into my mobile devices like my iPhone, my iPad, and my Android devices. Uh, and then on the BT Hub, again, it has a different name and different wireless, wireless access to it. So I want these all to be on the same network so I don't have, so I don't have to keep, so when your phone gets wiped in or you get a new device, I don't have to type all these profiles in so I'm able to sort of walk around the house without the phone disconnecting. So, it normally depends on the router and make and manufacturer because uh, if you've got different profile names, sometimes the phone will change or the iPad or, or what device will change over quite quickly between as you're moving around. The way the, the wireless devices work, it will connect to the most strongest signal first, you know, and it. Uh, and, and if the profile is available and it's not live, it'll just connect over. And some phones can, or uh, devices, can actually take it a bit slower to do it. Hence, why you get this like pause between the connections. Because also, it's, it's reloading that profile, so it has to check to see where the nearest wireless wireless access point is. Then it then checks for a profile for that access point to say, do I have one in my phone? Yes, we do. Then it then connects over. Then it has to authenticate by using a password. Now, putting them all on the same SSID name and passwords, they're all identically the same. The phone has to deal with one profile and it just looks for signal, sees it, it gets verified, it swaps over, and it's like more instant, it's more quicker. Um, so, if you've got a quick phone or slow phone, it should access much more faster. So, this is how you can do it. So, again, this is just different menus. So, that's the BT Hub look, this is the, um, the Air Express. So, what we need to do is once you log into your router, <coughs> It's all the same, just look for something called wireless, wireless. Uh, sometimes it'll be a sub menu saying advanced settings. Then you go up, then wireless, and then you come to the menu. BT is the same, which is you go into advanced settings, then click on wireless. And on the Airport, um, Airport Express, it's click on the little box, click on edit, and then go into the wireless tab at the top there. And as you can see, between my devices, I've got the VW Cloud 5. BT Hubs now on the BT Hub 59M, whatever it is, and then you've got then this one on Mac uh, 1835. So you can see I've got three different profiles. So I now want this to be all the same. I've also got a, th a fourth wireless uh, box which is in the garage, which is actually called Cloud 123. So that's what I want it to be on. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure on all your devices, make sure first the SSID name is the same. So Cloud 123, because that's what I want it to sort of be. Uh, go to my hub, I'll change that on the hub as well, Cloud123 and then on my Express. Now I need to make sure the password identif identif is I the same for everything as well. So you can't just change this as the ID not the password. Otherwise then your phone can get really confused with the same SSID even thinking well, what, 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 I've got three passwords stored here, what, what, what one's going to use? It, it gets confused and nine times out of ten it will probably never connect. Or we have trouble with a disconnect and reconnect. So you have you have issues anyway. So we're going to use this as the uh, um, password for it. So we'll make sure this all the routers have this password. Uh, 
and then we go into the wireless. See, and again, the wireless passwords are different. So on here, it's called what it's called the WAP pre-share key, and on the BT Hub Five, it's called the wireless key WPA2, and on the Apple, it's actually called wireless password. Simple as that. So different devices will name it differently, but it's almost the same, you know. So just check that out. So on here, so we'll make sure we're it's going to be that. So we type that in on this box and we'll paste it into this box here and there you go so now we've got them all pointing at cloud123 using 2537893 cloud123 same and the PT hub the same so I'm not going to apply this because I've probably chopped my internet connection off on my Mac while I'm doing this tutorial so I click apply click update and on the other one I click on apply and that saves it now some routers have different different frequencies so the most common ones are now is the 5 gigahertz and the 2.4 gigahertz so 5 gigahertz is fantastic for devices to support it it's better streaming uh, and it's or if you're definitely YouTubing it's definitely better streaming with so again to get more on the same password again you, you drop the profile down on this one here changes over again I then change that to be the same one two three and I make sure it has the same key too and on the BT hub I don't think it supports the um, 5 gigahertz or, or there you go, 5 gigahertz wireless settings here yeah, it does so again on here I make sure the SSID is the same and the password so in this case um, the BT router looks like it's going to take the same settings as 2.4 gigahertz and on the airport one it's um, I don't think it's, it's doesn't have, I don't think it supports it so I've just got one on that. So check that as well. So make sure the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz uh, profiles, um, if they are separately separate, same as this the RT nine six six U is, then change it on both. Uh, and and the BT sins sort of do that anyway. So check all that. So once they're all got the same name, so that same SSID here, and it's got the same password or the shared key, or or just a wireless password or the wireless key, uh, all the same then they'll connect up so now when you click apply on all those devices so log into each one of your devices set them exactly the same as each other and the paths the same as each other and give them a, a reboot afterwards so click apply do a reboot afterwards make sure all your wireless devices firmware are up to date because um, it's always good to make sure the firmware I firm mine where every time there's a new patch out uh, always done have done for years never been a problem so once they're all done and all up to date and um, then go to your iPhone um, it probably won't see your old your old profiles anymore so ignore it it will now start seeing your new um, SSID name itself or if you've actually um, changed it to be the same as everything so say for instance you've chosen the BT Hub for instance here of your home hub to be the same for all of them like the BT Hub 5 thing then what you need to do is when your phone connects it's going to connect to one of them um, so what you need to do is delete the profile out okay so just go on the i on like an iPhone you say forget this device and it deletes it and then just add it back in again type the password in click apply and you should be fine because sometimes some phones can store old profiles and if the names the same but the password has changed um, then it can get a little, a little bit confused with it so just delete that off and you should be fine but that's how simple it is so make sure all your devices have the same SSID and the same key or wise key or wise password on all of them then that's the job done it's as simple as that now you should then find your phone or your devices um, as you move around the house it'll just find the strongest signal and it'll just switch over without any problems at all and you probably won't even notice it's doing it in the background so thanks for watching any questions on this please do it in the comments below uh, and look out for all my new videos coming up I've got some more stuff to do with wireless boxes I've got this new TP link wireless box which are, which is in my garage at the moment running it's absolutely brilliant it's a, it's a wireless device you probably want in your house all over your house one in each room to get a really good signal but it's managed by one bit of software you run on, run on your PC and it's so easy to add another one or say for instance one of them broken or, or busted or blown up or something's happened to it it's easy to replace it. You just stick it back on the network, go back to the management software, and you literally say join it, and it adds everything to it: SSID, passwords, all uploads to it, and it's so simple to change over, and it's brilliant. But we'll do a video on that very soon and show how you do all the installs and setups for it. 
and it's really easy. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button because I notice there's a lot more viewers than subscribers. So please, please help me out. Please hit that subscribe button. And remember, hit the like button on the video if you like it. And do leave a comment. It'd be nice um, to sort of see who's um, having these issues, whether it's resolved your issue. It'd be nice to hear. You so, see you soon. Cheers. I could swear that this room has been running out of air And now it's starting to spin You make me feel kinda bad, kinda good